What is up my fellow subscribers, so I was looking at both uh, trailers of Infinite Warfare and also of Battlefield 1 and I was like shit, this is freaking insane. Mommy, call me a fucking ambulance because I think I'm tripping, I think I'm seeing things. So I decided to, you know, to just slap myself gently, just a few smacks in the face to see if this shit was real and it is freaking real. So I was like, mommy, don't call me an ambulance, I'm okay, I'm not tripping, I'm not seeing things, call me the fucking police or the army instead because Battlefield 1 just completely destroyed uh, Infinite Warfare and it is the first time I see a Battlefield uh, game completely destroying um, a Call of Duty game. It is freaking insane, alright? So, look at the stats, alright? You know, it's, this just... I, I don't even need to say anything. Battlefield 1 has more views, it has more likes, and it has less dislikes, alright? But <laughs> Infinite Warfare is about to reach 1 million dislikes. It is insane, and why... Why is everyone hating on Infinite Warfare? Well, it's for one, two reasons. Reason number one, it is a futuristic Call of Duty. Uh, and reason number two, it's gonna have the bullshit bunny hopping and jetpacks and all that trash, which everyone hates. And uh, for some reason, uh, they think we love that shit. So, Battlefield 1 is an FPS played during World War 1. And for my surprise, and for a lot of people's surprise, uh, it looks fucking great. Because people have in mind, have this idea that... World War One uh, was just fucking rifles, pew pew, and freaking, uh, not pew pew, that's more like lasers or whatever, that's more like Star Wars maybe, but people have the idea that, world, that a World War game is just rifles and freaking trenches, but uh, if you watch the Battlefield 1 trailer, you will realize that it's, it's way more than just trenches and rifles, you can see players riding horses while wielding swords, you can see shovels, people just smacking uh, enemies with shovels, you can see bats full of spikes completely murdering uh, the other players, you can see, actually you can't see bayonets, but there's uh, information somewhere that you will have bayonets, and obviously that's a thing from the World War I times, uh, bayonets, uh, equipped on the rifles. Flamethrowers, yes, flamethrowers are awesome, I love those things. There's also some sort of jug suit, you can see a guy equipped with a big ass metal suit, um, which is pretty cool and I don't know if that's single player or, or multiplayer. And obviously there are the battlefield vehicles like tanks, there are biplanes, which is pretty cool, you can have a player mounted on the tail of the, uh, on the, tail of the plane with an MG, uh, which is awesome. And uh, there are boats and you can see some, some, some ships and the biplanes attacking the ships again I don't know if that's single player or multiplayer but if there's also some naval warfare that is going to be pretty pretty cool and you can also see in the uh, end of the trailer a zeppelin a big ass balloon that drops bombs and whatever you can also see some sort of nova gas or whatever it's called I don't know to be honest uh, the mustard gas or whatever I have no fucking idea but it's pretty cool better you know after watching this trailer battle of battlefield 1 I immediately uh, was thinking of Battlefield 1943, which is pretty cool, and uh, you know it, it, the games look similar, if, is similar even though uh, Battlefield 1943 is supposed to be played a few years ahead, a few years later. But I mean, if you look at that little game, which is what you guys are seeing the gameplay, uh, which is not considered a real Battlefield game by the fucking PC nerds. Not all of you, not all of you PC gamers are fucking PC nerds, but the majority of you are fucking when it comes to Battlefield are fucking PC nerds and the Battlefields that were released only for consoles for you don't fucking exist so for you for most of you Battlefield 1943 doesn't exist because you can't play it on fucking PC but um, this game has just like Battlefield 1 it has the biplanes it has the tanks the jeeps the boats there are also ships but you can't control the ships they're just for spawning and they give you boats and you can also use the artillery on the ships and uh, you have the main melee weapons like swords, just like Battlefield 1, you have bayonets, just like Battlefield 1, and you have wrenches, which is pretty cool. The only difference is that there are no fucking horses, pretty much. So, Battlefield, Battlefield 1 just proved that going back in time can still be fucking fun, alright? And the, the Call of Duty community has been asking, you know, for a, uh, for a game play during World War 2 or even during World War 1 and uh, you know they just don't want to do it they want to keep up with this uh, um, you know futuristic bullshit but 
uh, I think that they will change. Well, uh, Sledgehammer is still going to release Advanced Warfare 2. I hope they don't release it. You know, Infinity War just fucking scrapped Ghost 2 out of the fucking map. They were going to release Ghost 2, but it didn't. So maybe uh, because Infinite Warfare is, is receiving so much hate, maybe they will not make fucking, what's it called? Advanced Warfare 2, and that would be a fucking blessing from the skies. Let me tell that right. And then we have infinite warfare which everyone seems to hate obviously it's a futuristic call of duty it's gonna have uh bunny hopping or whatever and everyone everyone wants the boots the players to be on the ground but this time around the boots are not even to are not going to be uh are not even going to be on the ground anymore they're gonna be in outer space so i mean <laughs> this is fucked up all right oh and let me let me read you a few a few things the uh Activision uh, CEO, one of the uh, big bosses, uh, said about the the the, uh, the hate that Infinite Warfare received on the reveal trailer. So this is what he says. Uh, we know there are people in our community who are nostalgic for the boots on the ground style gameplay. That's why we made Modern Warfare Remastered. But we also have millions of people in our community who want to have new innovative experiences uh, in the game each year and Infinity, Infinite Warfare is going to deliver that. Now, there's two things I want to talk about right here. They made they made Modern Warfare 4, uh, Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 Remastered uh, because they knew that we were going to dislike fucking boots in the space, we were going to dislike Infinite Warfare. That's why they made fucking uh, Call of Duty 4 Remastered, so that, you know, so that people wouldn't complain that much about Infinite Warfare. Unfortunately, that didn't work for you now, did it? And then he says that he has, uh, that we also have millions of people in our community who want to uh, have new invo innovative experiences, whatever. Who are these fucking millions he's talking about? Is he smoking that shit? That funny shit? You know, that shit that makes you funny or whatever? Uh, I don't know what this motherfucker is smoking, but I want to smoke it too. And then he also says, the good news is, this year we found a way to deliver both in one package. You know, the boots on the ground and the new, you know, the bunny hopping and whatever. Gameplay. Um... Uh, while keeping our community together. While of course we see the passionate opinions online, we also look at other measurements and the fact is, while it's very early, pre-orders are off to a very strong start. Views of the reveal trailer, and then there's, there's like, there's, there's a pause I guess, are up and in fact the number of likes per view on the Infinite Warfare trailer are the highest we've ever seen. Is it just, is he fucking blind? Is he just, why is he just talking about the fucking likes? The likes are a fucking joke, let me tell you that right now, alright? Look at the dislikes, you have pretty much one fucking million dislikes. And the only reason why the pre-orders are off to a very strong start is because you are selling Infinite Warfare together with Call of Duty 4 Remastered. I dare you to fucking separate both games, alright? Just separate them and see which one is gonna sell the most. It's obviously going to be Call of Duty 4 uh, Remastered, right? And uh, let me tell you something right now. I blame this shit, this shit storm that is happening right now on the fucking ghost haters, man, alright? It's your fucking fault. If you hadn't cried so much, like little girls at this point we were going to get ghost 2 right we were go we were um we were about to see some biblical ghost 2 gameplay and to be honest i'm pretty sure they were going to fix their mistakes right they were going to give us better maps and better kill tricks and especially the boots on the ground man but unfortunately you had to cry about it you fucked up and they went with the futuristic bullshit all right but it is what it is so far to be honest we've all we've all, we, the the trail that we watched was just single player gameplay obviously the jumping is gonna be on multiplayer but let's wait for the multiplayer gameplay maybe it's gonna be fun maybe the uh, boosting whatever the the boost jumping whatever is not that bad and uh, you know as long as the game has good hit detection good maps and the riot shield I think I'm gonna be happy all right even with the futuristic setting I think I'm gonna be happy if it has those three things but uh, let me know in your opinion the um, let me know in your opinion let me know in the comment section below your opinion i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time we are at 100k subscribers ladies and gentlemen that is fucking insane um thank you very much have a good day